Hey everybody, welcome back to Insight Tennis Tour Stroke Series. My name is Rick Oldroyd. I'm the president and founder of Insight Tennis. I'm also the head pro. Today we want to talk a little bit more about the forehand and I want to do a video today uh, that's a little bit different that focuses specifically on a particular type of forehand that I see a lot of players uh, at all levels really struggle with, okay? Uh, whether that's the uh, recreational players or club players or even some advanced players. And that is uh, a ball where your opponent has actually sliced the ball and the ball is staying really, really low, you know, maybe a foot off the ground and sometimes even lower than that. Or you get a short ball from your opponent and you're coming in but you don't get there early enough and you have to take the ball much lower than you thought you were going to. So this low shot uh, usually produces a lot of errors at all different levels and I think it's primarily because uh, they don't cognitively think that you've got to hit the shot differently than you would hit a normal forehand. Uh, so the, the problem that I see with uh, people that I've worked with and, and students and recreational players and, and even advanced players is that the angle of attack on this shot uh, has to change. You can't hit it the same way you would hit another forehand. So what do I mean by that? Well, unless we think about it, it's not intuitive to change our racket coming into the ball. So we tend to swing like we normally would. So let's just say I've got a ball here that's come in and I'm coming in from the baseline and I'm running in, right? And I get to the ball, but I can see that I'm not gonna be able to uh, hit it at chest level or even waist level. So the tendency that people do is they come in like this and they try to take this ball here or even bend their knees and take it down here. The problem with this is just simple physics. If my racket isn't lower below the level of the ball than this, and I go through that ball, it's just simply not going to go over the net. So that's the problem. We see a lot of players miss this shot because of the improper technique. So what's the solution? Well, the solution is simply to get your racket in a different position coming in. So if the ball is a foot or less than that off the court, you come into the ball and you're going to allow your racket to drop down almost such that your racket face or your racket tip of your racket is pointing at the ground. And that allows you to get underneath that ball and release out through that ball and take it up over the net. So this is, once you learn this technique, you can turn a shot that would normally put you in a defensive position into an offensive position, which is a very, very powerful thing. So once again, in review, when you have a low ball, instead of bending your knees on a forehand to get down to the ball and keeping and, and swinging like you would normally swing on a forehand, you need to make sure that when you come in, let's just say we've got a ball coming in, so I'm coming in and, I, and I'm ready to hit now, but instead of coming in like this and trying to hit, I'm going to allow my racket to drop down to this type of relationship. So a good frame of reference is to say I want to essentially point, you're gonna feel like you're pointing the tip of your racket right at the ground. Now I know you don't hit normal forehands like that, but trust me, that is the key to hitting this shot offensively. So then you're gonna come in, once again, I see it's a short ball, I come in, but I'm not gonna get there. So as I come in, I wanna come, allow my racket to drop down here, and then I'm gonna come up into the ball here. So when I make contact with the ball, even if it's down here, I can do that because of the relationship of my racket with regards to my wrist, I can now get below that ball and still hit out through that shot and release and rotate, no problem taking that up and over the net. But also, it allows you to do it offensively. Now you see the top pros, when they get a low ball like that, they 
they don't hit a weak shot and they don't usually lose control of the point. A lot of them can actually attack that ball and come in behind it and knock the volley off or hit an outright winner right from the beginning. So once again, here's what you want to think. Instead of bending your knees and getting down on the ball and swinging like you would normally swing on a forehand, you need to make sure that the racket drops so that you have a relationship as you're coming in. Let's just say the ball has come in. I can see I've got, I'm, I'm already turned, so I'm coming in. And I'm going to release, right? I'm going to plant my feet. I'm ready to hit. But instead of just dropping to here and releasing back, I'm going to allow my racket now to drop down here so that I'm going to feel like my racket is pointing at the ground, essentially at the court, the tip of the racket. And then I'm just going to swing like I would normally swing, but from this position, even if the ball is 10 inches off the ground, you can do this with this shot and you can come in even from here and release up and through that ball. So, next time you're out there on the court and you get a low ball that you've either, you're running in and you don't get there in time so it's low or, or your opponent has hit a really offensive slice and it stays low, if you'll use this technique, you can turn a very defensive position into an offensive position and that's the key. Hopefully this is going to be helpful for you. If you like this video, please click the link below. Subscribe to our channel, Insight Tennis. Also, visit our website at insighttennis.com. Like the video, subscribe, and share the video as well. And uh, I always bring attention to this. There's a section on the website, a uh, video analysis section that we encourage you to take video of yourself and send it in. Um, I'll analyze it, I'll look at it, I'll check your biomechanics and we'll see if we can not give you some tips and pointers, ways to improve your game. I know that in this day and age with privacy and so forth, we certainly respect your privacy. We won't share your videos, but we do want to help you out. I think we can provide a, a service here that can help a lot of players um, shed some new light, some new perspective on this. and take a look at your biomechanics and make sure that uh, you're doing the right things and uh, hopefully be able to uh, help you improve your game. So once again, if you like the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel, visit the website, and as always, thank you for your time, and we'll see you out there on the court.